Next, we need to check for the shear resistance of the bolt. To do so, we need to first to determine the resultant force acting on the bolt. Based on the diagram here, the most critical bolts will be referring to this as it has the highest horizontal force and the vertical component of the force are shared among the numbers of bolts. We will need to get the resultant force of these two in order for us to determine the shear loads acting on the bolt. This resultant force will be checked against the shear resistance of the bolt as well as the bearing resistance of the bolt hole on the plate angle and also on the beam web. First, we need to determine the vertical components of the force. It is calculated from the formula here, which is the vertical shear force divided by the numbers of bolts. Referring to the diagram here, there are 5 units of bolts and the vertical force is 200 kN. That gives you 200 divided by 5, which is 40 kN load. Next, we need to determine the horizontal components of the force. It is determined by using this formula. There will be an MED divided by number of both times their spacing. Now the question is how do we determine the MED? If you look at the design of the connection here, you will see a series of bolts here. That means the vertical force will be transferred from the beam to the angle along this axis. This leads to an offset distance of S from the face of the column. And because of this offset distance from the column, it will generate some moment acting on the connection. With that, we need to determine the offset distance here, which is equals to 35 plus the thickness of the angle. Eventually, it equals to 45 mm. The MED, it will be equals to the vertical shear load, which is 200 kN times 45 mm divided by 5 units of load, which is based at the distance of 50. Substitute the relevant value you obtain the horizontal component of force equals to 36 kN. Having the horizontal and vertical components of the forces obtained, your next step is to obtain the resultant force, which is the square root of the square of 40 and 36 equals to 53.8 kN. This resultant force will be checked against the shear resistance of the bolt as well as the bearing resistance of the angle plate and the weight of the beam. Now we need to determine the shear resistance of the bolt. The question stated that the shear plane will be at the tracted region. With that, we will need to refer to these equations. There will be a factor of alpha b, which can be referred from the table here. For this bolt grade at point 0.8, the alpha v is equal to 0 0.6. There will be fub, which is the ultimate stress of the bolt, refers to table 3.1, Grade 8.8, FUB will be equal to 800. There is a factor of safety which is equal to 
and the area of the tracted section which can be referred from the table here the size of the boat is 16 the area is 157 mm square substitute the relevant value into the equations you will obtain the shear resistance per plan equals to 60.3 kN referring back to the diagram here the book that we are referring to is this as it is the most critical one where the boat is penetrated through two angle plate and the weight of the beam that gives us two shear plan the calculated value of 60.3 is referring to one shear plan the resistance given by the boat in two shear plan will be equals to 2 times 60.3 which is 120.6 kN this 120.6 kN is to be checked against the design shear force which is 53.8 kN the force is less than the shear resistance and therefore the shear resistance of the boats pass.